morning children how are you all hope you are fine and home stay home stay safe today's class we will discuss about chapter 11 in physics the name of the chapter is light shadows and reflection what is the name of the chapter it is light shadows and reflections see in this chapter these topics to be discussed what is light what are called luminous and non luminous objects they transparent opaque translucent object shadows and reflection let us see these topics uh, uh, detail children come let us see see what is the first one means we will discuss about light actually what is light it is a form of energy uh, for example sunlight sun gives light so light is a form of energy it travels in a straight line for it travels in a straight line for in that uh, the next topic is luminous and non luminous object what is called luminous object the luminous objects are nothing but it emit the light by their own it emits the light by their own what are the examples for example sun sun emits the light by their own they tube light and candle from candle we can get the light from these are all the examples of luminous objects so luminous is nothing but it emits light by the air pole and the next one is non luminous object in general luminous means light what is called luminous it is light what is called a non luminous object it does not emit the light by the air pole but it reflects the light of others for example the best example of non luminous object is moon okay uh, why because the moon doesn't emit the air light by own but it reflects the light of the sun so the examples of non luminous objects are uh, moon trees etc okay uh, come to the let us see on video about light okay actually light is a form of energy it travels in a straight line for see what is light in a dark room we are unable to see anything but in a bright room we are able to see everything around us light is a form of energy which makes things visible do you know where do we get light from during the day time the sun acts as the natural source of light For light, man has invented many sources of light, such as an electric bulb, torch, candles, oil lamps, and many more. Let us now understand light in detail. Light from the source spreads out in all the possible directions. Do you know? How we are able to see the things around us when light from sources of light enters our eyes, we see the things. This light can be emitted by the object, as in the case of an electric bulb, or from the burning wood. It can also be the light bouncing off an object, like a book kept on the table. The light emitted from any of the light source can never travel in a curved manner around the object. Light travels along straight lines in medium or in vacuum. The path of light changes only when there is an object in its path or where the medium changes. We call this rectilinear propagation of light. When you switch on the torch in the dark, light appears to go straight upwards. Also, light from the cine projector takes straight path to the screen. These observations also show that light travels in a straight line. Let us understand rectilinear propagation of light through activities. Place a lighted candle on the table. Look at through a narrow tube of about 30 cm in length. What do you observe? We observe that we are able to see the lighted candle as long as tube is kept 
Mrs. B. Ben, the Jew. Will you see the candle? No, we cannot see the candle now. Light cannot bend along the tube, like water flowing through the tube. Let us do one more activity. Take three rectangular pieces of cardboard. Make five holes in them at exactly the same level. Transparent and transparent. 
lens. What is called opaque? It does not allow the light to pass through them. Transparent can allow full light to pass through them. And translucent, it is it does it, it can allow the light to pass through them, but not fully partially it can allow the light to pass through them. So these are all the uh, three types of non-luminous object. Okay, transparent and translucent. Okay, the next one. See the examples of opaque objects are wood, metal and football. It does not allow the light to pass through them. And the next one. The examples of transparent object. Transparent means it can allow the light to pass through them. So we can see the uh, object uh, with the help of glass and water. So these are all called transparent object. And what are the example of transparent object? It is disposable cup, tracing paper and ice cube. We can see the other objects but not only really partially it can allow the light to pass through them. So they are called transparent objects. Okay. And the next one. Next topic is shadows. What is called shadows? Uh, actually uh, when the light of the uh, shadow is nothing but it, it can stop uh, the path of the light with an opaque object means we can see the shadows. What is the color of the shadow? It is black in color. Let us see one video about shadows. See children. Shadow is a dark space behind an opaque object which blocks the light. If we stand outside on a sunny day, we see our shadow. When a person blocks the sunlight, his shadow is formed. The shadow changes in size as the day passes. The shadow of these people is in front of them and large in size. Do you know why? When the position of the sun changes in the sky, the shadow moves from one side to the other. The length of the shadow also changes with the change in the position of the sun. Why is this person's shadow so long? The shadows are long when the sun is low in the sky, as in early morning or evening. Here, uh, light is passes here. When I abstract or 